Yes, Footballs gang, welcome back to another vlog. This is part two of the EA Sports Cup vlog, the Masters tournament. Obviously, we touched base with you about three to four weeks ago when the boys went through their reps, went through their games and ended up finishing third, finished third on six points. Um, I'll tell you what, the editor will slap a little table right there just so you can see the updated table. Um, this week, this is pretty much the make or break week for ourselves. Um, we're gonna be playing against Blue United first, then Makers, then Guild, then Leipzig. And we just have to finish top two to get through. I'm confident in the boys. I think they can do it. I'm gonna be behind the lads and Kim Pembro is gonna be taking over the vlog, showing you behind the scenes and pretty much all the gameplay and stuff. But you're not losing me yet. I'm gonna be with you until the boys kick off. Right, we're here with Ethan and Jacob. How we doing, boys? We're good, man. We're good, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Any nerves at all in camp, or? For me, no, but. How are you, Snubby? Nah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a long time yet, but yeah, I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, obviously the teams have changed a lot since last time you boys played. Um, a few notable additions, a new Van Dyke card. It's not oh, the gold one anymore. New Van Dyke, new Van Dyke. I mean, literally new everyone. New, new moments, everyone, really, yeah. New moments versions, and just killing the Mappe card. So, what's that like before? A lot of <laughs> upgrades on the players, but there's not actually new players, really. Yeah. I think there's only one new player that we've got in, which is Cruyff, because we didn't really like Jersey in your last time. Um, or oh, and Cap de Villa, actually. That new card's really good. So. He's, he's the best card in the game. Yeah? Comfortably. Yeah. So are we expecting to see some magic from Cap de Villa and uh, Cruyff? What would we say about Cruyff? Is he a little bit weak, or what would you say to people who are saying he might be a bit weak? I normally hate him, yeah. like previous years, but this year, I'm like from what we've used him, I'm actually quite enjoying him, so yeah. For me, we don't have a choice. We've got to use him. There's no other plan in the game, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, cool. So if you were to pick one player, Ethan, who's going to be your player of the group stage, so the main man in your team, who would you say it is? For me, it's Cap de Villa. What a player. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna Jacob. go with Mbappe. I'm gonna go with Mbappe. Mbappe. All right, cool. Brilliant stuff. What are your predictions today? Talk to me. Uh, we are finishing the first. Yeah. And you are finishing last. 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 Are you serious? No. Uh, uh, you're finishing, like not last, but after last. Before Second for last. Second last. <laughs> That's crazy. Thoughts on that? Just know it now. Just know it. Just know it. Just know it. Right then guys, so I've shown you a little bit what happens behind the scenes in the practice and stuff. Now look, this is the last you're gonna see of me. You're gonna see me on stage with the boys, but I'm gonna be passing the camera across to Kim Pembro and Hecker's gonna be doing a little bit of recording in the background as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully when you next hear from me, we would have qualified and made it through, fingers crossed. Um, but before I go, I'm gonna quickly interview Kim Pembro and get his predictions on how he thinks tonight's gonna go. Well, the main man, Kim Pembro, how we doing, mate? How we doing, how we doing? I'm doing good, mate. You ready for tonight? Your first ever FIFA event, right? I know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm nervous, but looking forward to it. You're nervous, cool. How do you think the boys are gonna get on? Because obviously at the moment they're third, with yeah. six points, one win, three draws, unbeaten. Yeah, well, I mean, match day one, they played, you know, superb. Didn't get the rubber the green on a few games, but I think tonight, they, you know, it's margins, but the boys are gonna have it tonight. You they're think they're gonna have it, yeah? yeah Who do you reckon their star player is gonna be? The player to carry them through it. It's always R9. I watch yeah. him, it's always R9. You watch Sneb with R9, you watch Ethan with R9, and that's the one. Cool. That's the one who's gonna do the damage tonight. And uh, what's your prediction on who's gonna go through with him? <sighs> so, I think obviously Leipzig are favourites, you can't look past them, but you never know, you've got Guild and you know, Makers, they're two good sides. Prediction, who's gonna go through with him? No beat around the bush, no sitting on the fence. Leipzig. Leipzig. Second. Footwiz, also undefeated, has not been talked about nearly enough. Ethan and Nick Snap. Sure to be shaking things up. You see the new Footwiz kits on display. Looks as if it's gone the way of the UK Esports Award. What a ball that is, and what a finish! <laughs> Take away, take away, take away. 
Yeah. Game one done. Nervy affair. One nil foot whiz. I'll be honest with you. It was a very, very difficult game. We took our chances. They hit the post at nil nil. But they set up really defensive. We managed to get the win. Let's go. One goal to look at this. Be the goal in this one. It's gone the way of the Swedes, and by God, they needed that in the other game. Is it an equaliser for Footwiz or is it a double for Makers? Oh no! It's Footwiz against Makers. Which way has it gone? And it's a goal back for Footwiz. There's 20 minutes left in that one. 89th minute, Footwiz. Come on! Yes! Let's go! Come on! Come on, man! Come on! Come on! Two nil down, two all. A little bit, of a little bit of magic from Nick Snebb in the box. I don't know how we done it, but we d we deserved we deserved a draw. It was a good game, but again, I don't even know how these boys do what they do. Corner here for both teams. Be fighting for second, but let's see what Team Focus have have in store for us. Big takeaway. Great lob there. R9 takes it down. Who else? Vandersar cannot be stopped. Those legs are special. The hands, magnificent. Big body, corner kick, expect this to go direct. Whips it in, Rude hold it, back post, green, time, finish. You can't stop that goodness. Long hair, don't care. This is kind of scary, you got Captavia, and it's all about isolating those tall players and allowing them to try to win some of those 50-50s. Back post, Rude hold it for a double. And I talked to them before the day. They were saying that they feel good with the corners. You see it on display, two for two. Taken. Uh-oh, R9's working again, looking for space. Cruyff, love it. Is it there? Hey, oh! That is something spectacular! Well, and the main reason they're doing that is to try to avoid being counterattacked off the corner kicks, right? Most definitely. One of the main issues. Oh! We won! And we, we have won. a goal that came out of nothing. It Come on! Come on! Game three is done. Going into it, it was a bit of a shootout. If we won, we were through. If we lost, we were out. A draw would have seen us having to need to get something out of the fourth game. Two incredibly well-played corners. Takes us 2-0 up. An incredible finish from the top of the box. And then going into half-time, 3-0, we're pretty comfortable. But that one goal gives it the old squeaky bum time. But the boys done incredible. They see it out 3-1 and we've qualified. What a performance from the lads. Well, there is something on this game, Ivan, and that's that these two teams are still unbeaten in this group. There's only one team that went unbeaten all the way through the EA Sports Cup, and that's TG NIP, of course, the duo of Oli Lito and Levy David. We could see another unbeaten team here, unless this game does end as a draw. So there is something still to celebrate and to talk about on this game. I think for the... And that's 1-0. That's 1-0. Just like that, green time. If you have two players of the caliber of Umut and Anders, whether you're... Could be a chance for Footways! Just like that! There was goals when they played four weeks ago. There was eight of them in total. It's Mbappe, the star of the show. Ball came up to him perfectly. Footways back in the tie, but maybe not for so long. Here's Jarzinho, he's CR7. No, it's not, it's R9. It's another Ronaldo. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Anders is laughing. And just like that, the equaliser that was earned from Footwiz is wiped away by R9. So we saw that with SPQR already. You're always in four groups. You're always going to have one or two groups with similar standings. Oh, there's another one. The performances this week, coming prepared and being ready. Into the knockout stage is a chance. There's another goal, and there's no reaction. Wow, right, you made it through, bench. boys. We're happy, yeah? Of yeah, very happy. Like, to do in that fashion as well, especially when like, we got three, three little pins killed. Last game to qualify, we need to qualify. We concede one, whatever, worst goal I've ever seen. <laughs> the coach goes, 
remember, do not remember what happened four weeks ago. I didn't think about it. This guy's trying to give me flashbacks. <laughs> Trey, you know, it's one of them ones, yeah. I just had to make sure that the boys got through it, but properly, innit? You know what I mean? Like, one of them ones. Steph, what are we saying about it? It's all up to you, innit? It's down to me. Look, I'll take the blame. I'll take the blame all the time. Cried. No, How really do you feel about the games? I'm really happy. Um, obviously, going through is whatever, first or second. At least we've got the job done and we're on to knock out, so anything can happen. Yeah. Realistically, that might be the worst day of 2v2 we've ever played, but to yeah. get out of the group, of that group playing that bad, very impressive. So yeah, we didn't play happy. well at all today, which shows. Turn up and knock out, so we'll have a good chance. Yeah. Yeah. Can you win it? Of course. <laughs> Absolutely, nice one, lads. Right, guys, that wraps up the vlog for Masters EA Sports Cup. Second week, we made it through, baby. Yes, we'll be back in January with another vlog of pretty much everything which is going on. We've got riders in the knockout as well, which we're looking forward to. Make sure you hit the sub button, make sure you like the video, all them ones, and comment what you want to see from the channel and stuff, all right? Take it easy. See you next time. Bye bye.